Yeah, um, I have total uh, 12 years of experience in .NET. Uh, I was working as a uh, presently .NET Core Microservices Architecture. My uh, my projects which has been working in the different domains in terms of uh, healthcare domain, airline catering domain, as well as uh, banking domain too. Uh, coming to uh, my day-to-day uh, -day activities, uh, understanding the requirement, helping them to understand the uh, low-level design and high-level design, implementing the coding and helping the team members uh, like juniors who is having, who need some kind of help in terms of uh, the problem statement, in terms of uh, uh, some kind of solution and the code review has to be happening all the team members uh, and uh, these are all the activities. In, along with uh, my activities, I am part of the Center of Excellence team to do the POCs with the different problem statements and uh, providing the solutions to the problems and implementing those solutions in the projects are helping them understand the other projects as well uh, on need basis, uh, Krishna. Uh, what type of skill set you have? I have uh, .NET Core 3.1, 5.0. I have good exposure and uh, I have uh, complete exposure on Azure services, uh, Kubernetes services. App services, function, app storage account, and uh, app insight, uh, different uh, databases which has been provided by the on-prem as well as uh, Azure. I, I have good exposure on my Entity Framework and uh, SQL Server, uh, ORM tools uh, uh, like Entity Framework as well. Uh, from coming to the client side technologies, I have uh, exposure on Angular uh, uh, 8.0, uh, HTML and uh, CSS 3.0. Working with the ASP.NET platform and ASP.NET MVC. MVC also work? Yeah, I have worked on MVC. I, at the time of uh, my career beginning, I was working on ASP.NET. Um, it's very old. Uh, like, oh, uh, what, is the, what is the challenge you Yeah, I was able to see the tightly coupling. Everything will be able to run on the server side. And everything is a uh, callback and postback. We have to maintain the states in the ASP, ASP, ASP net of our web forms. And MVC, it's a, a modular is based and uh, it has to be uh, 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 easily testable and uh, maintainability. That is what I have uh, seen. Which one type you have to use? Sorry? Uh, which code actually type The ASP.NET code is a tightly coupled because uh, yes, view and the CS and everything has to be maintained in a single page. Yeah, we have to, first of all, we have to design a database in such a way that users and uh, uh, users, user roles and uh, user role discounts like that. We have to maintain the users table and the user roles table and uh, user roles discount table. There are the um, uh, four tables we have to maintain. If you are giving is a discount based on the role or if you are giving the discount based on the user, this depends on the requirement. For example, we are giving a discount based on the roles, user underscore role underscore discount is the uh, mapping table which we want to map that what is the uh, based on the role, how much percentage of the discount 
we are going to give a particular uh, role based uh, discount. So this is the database level operation. We have to maintain in terms of uh, we have to create a repository and uh, in this repository uh, we have uh, at the time of sending the claims uh, we have to identify uh, the claim is valid or not and we can we need to get that role from the client and we need to uh, pass this uh, role id if the discount is available we need to call the helper and to uh, perform the calculation if the discount is not applicable for that role and i can able to go to the slot well and i will able to give a total uh, amount of the disk total uh, as a gross amount or net amount How do you say class level? Sorry? Class level, how Yeah, class level, uh, it has to be user. Uh, user is one class and uh, user discount, user role discount is another class. Uh, we need to get the data from the table, uh, user information and role and information and discount information. The discount is applicable. Uh, based on the uh, request, I will identify uh, what is the information for the particular user. And roll and discount, I, I will perform the calculation. Uh, service oriented architecture, basically, I believe it's a uh, your, your question is related to REST oriented or only specifically to service one. Yes, Um, I will use an uh, interface and implementation, a uh, repository pattern and injection uh, which will use to get the services has to be injected in the controller. Yeah, uh, your voice is a bit low, maybe um, for me. my mic is full volume only, can you try to increase a bit, possible? Okay, can you repeat the question, please? Uh, my question is the uh, what is the service oriented? Okay, mm, as part of my understanding, I don't uh, hear that completely service oriented architecture. What is the service oriented? But what I believe is based on the request, it has to be uh, provide the services to the clients. Uh, that we can treat it as a service oriented architecture as an especially uh, I don't see that uh, uh, the word of the service oriented maybe the concept or whatever the things which we are thinking is might be different or our expectation is different based on the type it has to go to the it's a kind of a factory which service has to be going to and which, ha which has to be consuming that's what I am assuming maybe it's a kind of a API service web API or uh, uh, REST API, it also comes under the service oriented architecture, but I may I may be wrong. Application level performance. Uh, we need to uh, definitely we have to go ahead with the uh, disposable of uh, uh, unmanaged objects. And uh, if you want to utilize uh, uh, in terms of uh, database connectivity, we need to use the connection pooling. And in terms of uh, uh, using the dependency injection, uh, uh, number of object creation in terms of uh, primary object, in terms of singleton, uh, singleton pattern repository, like it's a kind of uh, single scoped uh, transaction, transient or uh, multi scoped transaction. Well, give me one minute. Interview on it. Ah. Ah. Sir, sir, I'm meeting. Sorry, Krishna. Sorry for that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, what is the purpose of the caching? Yes, yes. Caching also will give a kind of performance. Whenever we have the static read only, uh, uh, static read only lesser data, we can go ahead with the Redis, uh, uh, Redis cache or uh, in memory cache uh, provided by the AS. 
for example the data is not is, is a kind of master data the master data is not going to change uh, frequently it might be monthly or yearly or it might be depends on the case to case then the catchy data it will give a more performance in terms of maintaining the data in once we get the data from the database and put into the catchy instead of going for each and every call to the database that is also a, a performance implication if we can use the uh, catchy that is also given for performance in terms of application level Yeah, database level is a different ways. Uh, first of all, we need to identify where is the um, blocking. Uh, for example, if it, uh, we need to get the uh, execution plan for a particular query. Uh, we need to identify which uh, query is taking more uh, I/O bound and CPU bound. For example, uh, it is also identify uh, whether how many of the is, is it using as index seek or table scan, index scan or table scan. Try to avoid the number of. Uh, we need to reduce the number of table scan because table scan it will go by the sequence one by one, one by one. If it is index scan, it will go the binary tree search index. Try to identify directly on the particular record in the uh, particular chunk of the uh, database uh, uh, result set. And another way, if you can use the stored procedure and uh, using the temporary tables and uh, uh, using um, apply the indexes on temporary table and uh, uh, is using the is a case to case and uh, if you want to use the CTE as a temporary result set, it's a kind of case to case. We have to be analyze and we need to introduce the non cluster index if we need on uh, based on where condition on the two tables are joining. It depends on all the cases. Uh, we can able to improve the performance of uh, database query. Question. A yeah, solid principle uh, basically it's stating that uh, uh, S stands for uh, single responsibility. Uh, basically, the class has has the only single uh, responsibility or single reason or single functionality has to be implemented. If there is any functionality has to be come into the future after implementing one of the class, we should be not included in the uh, same class. We, if you want, you can create a subclass and extend the S like that. It is stating of a single responsibility. Um, so for open closed principle, it's stating that uh, the class is ready for uh, extension, not for modification. In those cases, we can go ahead with the open closed principle. I for interface aggregation, I have the. Uh, yes, yes. I have uh, uh, job is there. The, there are the uh, initially the job was implemented for uh, monthly job. Okay, it is having the, uh, the getting the data from the database and saving that information into the uh, report into the uh, uh, Azure uh, storage account, uh, uh, one of the blog. What is exactly happening? New class into the they, the new requirement came into the picture. They want to introduce as a weekly job. In that case, I have the class which was very well defined and tested and uh, it is working perfectly. If you want to add another method, we have to do all the cases of round of testing and it is avoid, uh, violating the single responsibility. In that case, I can make that class as an uh, 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 after class and subclasses I can implement that what are the functionality. I don't want to change it of the base class functionality. If you want to override, you can override. Otherwise, you can uh, use the base keyword by using the New method or, uh, or the base class reference method, we can able to access. Yeah, single responsibility. It is related to single kind. For example, weekly job is different, monthly job is different. But uh, you, because of weekly job to getting the data, monthly jobs also getting the data. That is fine. But the report format is different, and the report structure is different, and the email distribution is also different. In this case. It is violating of the single responsibility principle. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Lisco substitution <coughs> principle. Uh, uh, whenever uh, I have a number of, uh, I have only uh, parent interface. I have an interface. I have mentioned as uh, some standards on that interface. 
all the child classes should has to use the similar kind of interfaces implementation might be different in this case i don't want to create a object obj equal to new object object to is equal to new object all the child class object should be substitutable of the type of base for example interface obj equal to new object 1 interface obj equal to new object 2 there is interface reference is the same we can able to change the subclasses these concepts we can call as a Lisco substitution. All the subclasses should be substitutable of the base type. What is the difference between the subclasses? All two of the Dependency injection basically um, creational design pattern as a developer if you want to take care how to create an object, how to destroy of an object. In this case, a dependency injection it will take care of the responsibility of the creation. What we have to do is we need to register what is the type and what are the object you needed at the time of constructor level or method level or property level. There are the three different steps are there. Register, request and resolve. These are all the steps followed by the DI. All the DIs like an inject or .NET Core or Unity. These are the, they are following the same step to resolve the object based on the types which was provided. Uh, what is the repository pattern? Uh, basically, repository pattern uh, you know, gives us a flexibility, hide the implementation of uh, the backend functionality, provide the interfaces to the client. Client don't want to uh, know that how the data is uh, uh, business logic is validated, where the data is stored, how the data is retrieved, like that. It's a kind of hiding that implementation, providing the interfaces to the client, and uh, this is a concept. Uh, we, we do provide the kind of security, uh, what are the implementation, if you want to change the databases, if you want to change the functionality, we can able to change in the repository itself or we can create a new repository uh, based on the versioning, uh, we can able to achieve by using the repository pattern. I just want to understand what is the exactly uh, uh, requirement is looking for. Uh, can I know that one? Yeah, they have explained, but you are the right person. So as interviewer is the right person, right? I am thinking uh, they don't know what is exactly uh, the candidates are looking yeah, for. Senior, senior okay. Okay, is it a, we are using .NET Core and uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. microservices or uh, okay, okay then yeah, thank you, thank you, Krishna, thanks for your uh, info. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks for your time. Bye.